Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is part 4 video of our Power Pages series and we are going to talk about how we can create multi-step form which comprises of multiple steps and that captures the data within the same Dataverse table. So over here I am showing you one of the form which is standard candidate profile form which captures the personal detail as step 1 and education and professional details into step 2 and finally current job fitment into step 3 and post that we can submit the form and it will be saved into the dataverse table so along with that we are going to see like how we can attach the attachment also to the same form so we are going to open our power pages design studio And we are going to pick up our existing active site, which is let's say partner and portal. And I am going to start editing this. So over here, I am going to create one more page. And the page we, we call that page as candidate profile. And we will have this page starting from blank. And on this page, we are going to add one component that is multi-step form and as I said like this multi-step form would be driven from our data was table forms so we are going to take a look onto data was table first of all so I'll go to this data tab and we'll try to find out our table which we are looking for so we'll search for candidate profile table this is a table which I have already created and I will show you what columns we have created in this so I have multiple columns into my this data was table and it's related to name email address contact information job profile and education information and we are going to directly go to the form so that we can start building the forms on top of our uh, this candidate profile table so as in part of previous demo i have created these three step forms if i click on any of this basic form let's say so it's very simple to create any form we just need to click on for example this new form and we'll just give it a name so i'll just give it a demo name because we are not going to use this form but just for the sake of like who are watching this video for the first time how to create a form so that's why i'm creating it so once you create that form it will give you this form preview you have to click on add fields to manage what you want to show on the form so by default it took a copy of the default form so you can select your fields and show hide or delete fields you want to have so for examples for step number one we want to just showcase the basic information so we will be just hiding the all other fields which are on the form so if i go back to our existing form of step number one i'll show you what fields we have kept So we have only basic profile fields that is name, email address, contact, date of birth and all the unused fields or columns are listed over here. So if we wish to add any other column then I just need to click on this field it will be added to the form. And if I click on the show hidden you will see like what are hidden fields on this form which we have intentionally hidden because we just want to show the default these fields. So this new section as we have made this section as hidden this related column so we don't need that, that on our step one form so we are just hiding them and having this basic form in place and you can also format this layout to split into two columns as you want and if i go to the other forms of step two education and professional details and i click on add field and right now i'm just showing the uh, columns related to education and the work related professional data and if I click on show hidden it will show me all the fields which are hidden which are created in step form 1 but it should be hidden into this form so that's how you can decide what field should come on your this step 2 form and the same way you can decide what should come on step 3 form just by hiding and showing the fields so once you are done of, uh, creating these step forms for yourself then you can go to pages and we can start adding the pages or the steps to our candidate profile page so we can click on this and connect it to data multi-step form and over here you can give it a name so i'll just give it a name as 
candidate profile and on submit once we add it then these uh, buttons would be enabled for us so right now i just click on done and we will start adding the step so as these are multi-step forms so we have to decide like what steps should be there as in step number one i can say step one as personal details and we'll be picking our table which is candidate profile table and the selecting the form as basic form and in attachments we need not to have attachment at the first step and more options is advanced options if we need to change any basic metadata type like which i explained into my video number three so you can take a look on that and right now i'm just clicking on ok so that step one can be added so these are step one and we can keep on adding the steps so step two would be related to our education and professional details and we will again select the same table and selecting out the step two as education professional details form which we created into a dataverse table and we'll click on ok and again we are going to do the step three add step and let's say step three current job fitment these are the columns related to job uh, details and we'll be selecting this job fitment form for us and in the attachment over here if you wish to store the attachments into notes if your data was tables enable the attachment to store in notes then enable this one otherwise there is a column into data words which you can associate with your attachments that i am going to show you just now before that i'll just click on okay so that we can add all our forms steps so once steps are added now the important part of setting the permission comes up so we have to create new permission for this table entire table so we'll just say name of this permission set as candidate permissions and we will provide the global access or you can decide the if it's related to your some other tables account and access so we can decide that as well but right now it's just a just an anonymous table so we can just say global access read write update and in add roles if you want the authenticated users to only apply for it like the person who are registered within this site then you can click on this authenticated users or you can select anonymous as well based on your requirement and once the rules are added we can save and we are good to go so we'll just launch this into preview first of all clicking on desktop so it's saying you don't have appropriate permissions that means like we have to sign in so we are going to sign in so for that we have to set the permission for our page so i'll just go to the page settings and we'll go on permissions and i will change that to i want to choose who can see this page authenticated users and when i click ok and now i do a preview i should get a button to sign in so that this multi-step form can be viewed so now i'll just sign in using azure ad or you can sign in or register so that only authenticated users can see this page so now have we have this step number one as personal detail step two as education and step three as current job fitment so we'll just start filling out the information so i'll just fill out information quickly going to the next step and i need to fill out the information over here so you can just fill out anything and going to the last step of current job fitment attaching the file and doing a submit it should submit the record into our dataverse table with attachment and this message also you can actually modify it based on this your form setting so you can go back to your select your form and go to this edit form over here on submit you can change this message and as well as in your dataverse as i said like you can have one field for attachment so you can have 
one field for resume attachment one field for any other attachment so that you can put in and we have this entries created whatever entries we have just now submitted via multi-step form so this is how you can create a multi-step form easily within 10 minutes into power pages and into our next video i am going to share that how you can upload the files into sharepoint via any power page form so we'll be using upload button control and then button to upload that file into the SharePoint. So that is it for today's video. Thank you.